A drive through safari is under fire after a video surfaces of a bear attacking a pony. It's not the first time the park has been questioned. KNWA's Andrew Epperson is live in studio to give us a timeline. And Andrew, what did you find out? Complaints, closures, and questions. Each have played significant roles in the park's history over the last couple of years. Just to warn you, though, some viewers might find the content of this story disturbing. Since the Gentry Wild Wilderness drive through Safari, just the latest in a string of incidents over the last couple of years. Got the little pony by its neck. After bears, ponies, and goats got mixed up in one cage, a video shows a shocking scene. Like, why would they want to put the pony in there? The Wild Wilderness drive through claims the pony seen in the bear's clutches has been checked by a vet and is fine. This is the pony. You can see a few scratches and missing fur. This isn't the first time the safari has come under fire. At one time, there wasn't a sufficient heating system to handle colder temperatures, so some animals got frostbite. That resulted in the safari installing heated floors. The park violated the Animal Welfare Act 68 times between 2012 and 2016. This according to a 2017 Department of Agriculture complaint. The USDA accused the safari of failing to provide sufficient veterinarian care and that employees kept animals in dirty conditions. This forced a closure and the park fought the claims for a while before deciding to settle. After paying a $75,000 fine, the park reopened in March of this year. Despite the latest round of scrutiny, the park remains open here today. And business manager Linda Hook says the company is performing an internal review of the situation with the bear and pony. Live in studio, Andrew Epperson, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.